Well, gang, there are plenty of situations in which a omnidirectional kind of bubble effect around a particular access point is not what I want. I don't want equal distribution of RF signal in all directions. Instead, I want focused gain, focused amplitude in a very particular direction. It gives me two key benefits. Number one, it's going to help to increase the gain in that direction. So instead of that energy dissipating out in all directions, it's able to focus that same level of energy in a particular direction, enabling that amplitude to go higher and go farther. Additionally, what that also means is that I can avoid signal being available in areas where I don't want it. Uh, do I want people to be able to drive into a parking lot and pick up on my signal? Well, with, some, with an omnidirectional access point, that might be relatively easy, easy to do. But with a directional antenna configured, we can aim the RF signal so that it stays within the boundaries of my work environment. So here we're looking at one example. There's going to be three key antenna that we look at, the patch, Yagi, and parabolic antennas. So here's the patch radiation uh, pattern that we see right here. And so we're looking at 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And these are wall-mounted patch antennas. So literally, you take these things and you mount them on a wall. Let me jump over to a picture of one of these for just a second. So here we're seeing the shape. See how flush that could go to a wall? It's really designed to be discrete. You just have a cable connecting this to the access point itself, and it's able to project that signal into a room. Now, there's a little bit of a butterfly effect, which is what they call essentially this backward radiation that emits from that center point that's basically just the fault of manufacturing. It's not intentional. But notice this is certainly not just an omnidirectional radiation pattern. It is focused in a particular direction. And notice that although we're putting actually the same amount of energy into it, we end up with this being uh, 4 dBi or 3 dBi as opposed to the 2.14 dBi that we saw in an omnidirectional configuration. So this is able to focus that energy. It's still uh, not really designed to be able to go uh, in a vertical uh, axis. So notice the elevation plane is kind of an oddball shape in both of these configurations. We're looking for a one floor distribution. So don't expect your access points with directional antenna to be able to uh, kind of scope to support multiple floors and give you good distribution of signal. Now, another type of antenna is called the Yagi antenna, named for Yagi and Ud, a couple of Japanese gentlemen who came up with this antenna back in the 20s. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, it looks like an antenna, right? Not that exciting. Well, again, comes in a couple of, of varieties, right? We see a wall mount uh, or mast mount Yagi here at a couple of different DBI. Uh, there's our famous Cisco label, so we know it's, we know it's good. What am I going to do with this? Again, I'm going to do directional configuration. So while this is, uh, and notice that it had those higher DBIs. So this is pushing out, this is a specific type of antenna with a higher level gain that's really designed to push out that signal with a whole lot of direction. Again, our elevation plane, it's, notice how flat this is. It's not designed really to go vertically. On the horizontal, again, uh, if I was wall mounting it, here's my wall, and this is the direction of the signal facing out from that Yagi antenna. So this would be better for a larger warehouse, less of an office space, more of a large warehouse. Uh, I might position these along the, the rows of the warehouse to be able to uh, provide that directional signal down the alleys of where people might be going around with their scanners, trying to collect information or their laptops or whatever devices that they're using. So Yagi still in, designed as an interior inside based antenna, but goes farther than a patch, bigger system. All right, now we've also got the parabolic antenna. And a parabolic antenna is designed to be used for more of a point-to-point -point link for outdoor use. Our gain is significantly higher in this configuration. And what we're really trying to do is beam uh, from typically like one building to another. Maybe I've got a campus and I want to uh, be able to connect to another uh, outlying office building or a guard shack or you know some sort of um, workplace bridge, something like that this sort of antenna would be useful for that type of configuration. So notice we're up to 21 dBi, right? Outdoor use only. This is some serious gain that we're putting out through this dish. Really focused. Look how intense that beam is. Remember, the goal is to have a direction of that beam. All this other butterfly effect that we see is just the fault of manufacturing that's never in intended. 
And on the elevation plane, again, uh, we basically see that this is very, uh, this is distributed in a very uh, flat way. So again, you're shooting a beam, it's not going to have a lot of spread vertically relative to the focused aim of that particular signal. Okay, so directional antenna, we just saw three type, patch, indoor, small scale, Yagi, indoor, larger scale, more of a warehouse scenario, and parabolic, uh, again, designed for an outdoor point-to-point -point link. As we move from each one, we saw three to four dBi to 10 to 13 dBi, all the way up to 21 dBi.